explain that, just the trust that you had, even though the results weren't coming, the wins weren't coming, but explain maybe just how you trusted in each other. You knew you would figure it out eventually. Yeah, I mean, those are just conversations we had, you know, prior to the season starting, um, in between games, before and after games. Um, it's an 82-game season, ebb and flows. There's going to be highs, there's going to be lows. Um, game plan might not be executed the way it's supposed to be, so it might result in a loss, but it's all about staying together and trusting in one another. And those are conversations that we've had, you know, every single day um, on the court, off the court activities, just trying to build that trust between one another. Matt said this after uh, the last game that this is the happiest he's seen Ant in quite a while. And he said it kind of all starts with him, that energy when Ant sets that tone. How have you seen that kind of be contagious when Ant's, you know, talking and kind of being the floor general? And you said, because, you know, Ant's a tremendous athlete. Uh, you know, physically, he's probably one of the best best built basketball players in the league. Um, mentally, when he's there too, he's just a, a completely different player. Um, he's a leader without even trying to be. Um, so his energy is extremely contagious, especially when he's on the floor talking, uh, rotating, telling us where to go. It just makes the game a lot easier. It makes it a lot more fun too. <clears throat> some adjustments. You know, Jason Kidd's a great coach. Uh, they got some great players over there. So they're obviously going to make some adjustments, you know, counter some of the things we did to them in game one. Um, yeah, just really anxious, excited to see what they what they come with. What was this challenge like to see a team twice and almost want to like improve? It was such a great game the other night, but almost improve on that even more. What kind of challenge is this? Uh, it's extremely challenging because you know, as as the winning team, you know, it's really it's a lot harder to learn from mistakes that you made when you win. As a losing team, you come in with you know a greater sense of urgency, and you have more things that you're trying to fix. So, for us, it's just preparing for you know the influx of changes they're going to bring at us and trying to, you know, maintain and stay even keel with the win we just got, you know, a couple of days ago. Thank you.